We are starting outside again in today's vlog. We're doing a lot of outside work. I am hoping. So I put like a flower bed down, but I didn't like build a box around it. And I think I made a mistake. Um, so I, I basically dug up all the soil so I could flatten the earth. And we're gonna go to Home Depot and get some stuff to build the flower box. It's been about two weeks since I planted that stuff. So I should have seen sprouts already. I hadn't seen anything, so I was getting a little nervous. So I dug it all up anyway. And the problem is, is that I just had too much on top. They were too, they were dug too far deep. So we have a lot of sprouts. These are all my peas. Um, this, there's a couple green bean uh, seeds I found as well, but most of them honestly got lost. But these are tons and tons and tons of sweet peas. So they all just need to get replanted after I finish this box, as well as some of the corn. But they were sprouting in the thing. I just forgot to show you guys my sprouts before I threw in all the other stuff. They did start sprouting in these mason jars by just wetting them uh, twice a day and, and wringing out the water. So this technique was working. Um, it's just, I think it takes a little bit longer for the water to get into the husk of the corn than it does the peas. But we'll definitely at least have some success with the peas. Um, the strawberries are doing good too. I'll show you a peek of those right before we leave. Today's focus is going to be um the flower box but today we're focusing mostly on gardening the good thing about pulling all of that up is that i was able to see kind of what was taking and what wasn't sorry i have like twizzlers stuck in my teeth um, now i know i have plenty of peas i should have plenty of corn um green beans i'm probably going to want to pick up a little bit more of and watermelon none of my watermelon took either i'm going to start those seeds the same way that i'm doing all my other ones right now and then by then the flower bed will definitely be good to go i'll just save a little bit more room eventually i want to have two flower beds but i have to level out a whole nother area so we're gonna work on one right now at least get some things planted like the peas in there possibly like my tomatoes i have to see kind of what does well growing together and what doesn't if there's something that really shouldn't be touched i also have to keep in mind that i want to sporadically plant my herbs as well as my marigolds that are starting to sprout i'll show you when we get home i have a bunch of stuff going i have the chives going i have another lavender plant growing there, there's a lot going at once i'm just kind of waiting for everything to start sprouting to be able to show you what i'm talking about so this is the area i had like all the plastic the soil the mulch down i just ripped it up basically leveled it off i'm gonna do the exact same thing over here eventually but it's just temporarily housing everything that needs to get planted just to show you guys, um, I had a random root here and I believed it was a strawberry. I wasn't sure. I tried putting in there to see if it would take. I don't think we're going to have any luck. But with these ones, we're doing well. I need to grab some netting as well while we're at Home Depot because this one is starting to turn a little bit red. So it's not going to be too long till it's ready to pluck and harvest. It looks like we have some new growth on this one as well. One of them did start flowering and I took off the bud because I didn't want... Uh, there's already one, two, three, four strawberries on this one plant. So I didn't want the plant to have too much going on. But before we go, I am going to give my potatoes uh, a quick rinse down. Once I reach my finger down and notice that the soil is getting really dry, I'll just give it a really good uh, soaking. And that's it. I won't touch it again. I'll check again next week, but I won't really touch it. Potatoes are extremely easy to grow. I've grown them successfully every year. I just want bigger potatoes than I have been getting. So I'm gonna wait a while to harvest them. Don't mind the seatbelt. I'm just moving. I'm not even getting out of the parking lot. Um, so we've been at Home Depot. We've been redoing the entire deck and stuff. I'll throw a quick clip. Josh knocked down um, some boards that were on my porch. The thing is rotting away. Pull up a little bit closer to where we're gonna walk out with all the wood. Okay, we have some miracle Grow, some hard wire. Got some sweet peppers. Watermelon again, thyme, and cilantro. Because I don't think, I know I don't have time, literally, but I, I know I don't have time. I don't know if I got cilantro already or not. 
I actually really love llama beans, so I'm going to grow them for myself along with some regular green beans. Some more wood. We're also going to put on some of these uh, caps as well when they're all done. And of course, they'll all get painted. It'll look nice. You <laughs> make it work. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go get a job actually. I'm gonna run to a dollar store real quick. I just need to grab like little cups or something for the seedlings. I can't get paid if she keeps it won't shut up. We're back home. <laughs> I'm talking about Alexa. I can't have copyright music or I can't monetize my videos. I found a couple quick things at the dollar store. I, I wanted to just decorate the area a little bit more so I found this uh, kind of nautical themed the support sign. I also found this to kind of go with it. This is, it says this is our happy place. But I have the hot tub right there and the kids will love coming out. So I thought of like dressing up that little hot tub area for them. It's a couple random tools. Dollar Place is a great place to get hand tools that you might need. And then for, so I, I, again, I was going to buy like a, the little seedling kit you really don't need it a lot of the cups i already have have cracked so i can't really reuse those so a lot a lot of them are trash and then i got some more um plant labels hence because i got a bunch more seeds today i want to make sure every plant is properly labeled and i don't run out of them so i'm going to spend a little bit of time getting my seeds uh the new seeds in the cups and start getting those in the greenhouse i don't know how far we're going to get on the bed we did pick up a bunch of soil i got a couple more of these as well that i put in my strawberry plants oh i did buy a little flag though i can put that up Before I do anything, this is it. Hi buddy, before I do anything else, I am going to take, I'm out of hero patches, but this zit is driving me nuts. It's so painful, the one on my forehead, obviously. So I'm just gonna like cut off a little, what's the matter? I'm gonna cut off a little piece of one of these pore strips. <laughs> There's still the, uh, it's the same brand, like the Hero, but the, the, the long pores. But I just need, oh shoot. I just need a little piece. Shit. Because I'm telling you, this thing is so painful. And if I don't, it's just going to scar tomorrow, I'm telling you. I just need like a little square. Oh my gosh, it is so painful don't waste your strips though if like it has not really started forming whiteheads because i put uh, i wore it last night and it was too early so it really didn't like suck anything up and now today it's just like so painful okay i don't care if it's a big square on my head oh it's so painful and i just needed to suck up all that crap that keeps like irritating it all right now that that's done i'm gonna go do my seeds that was driving me insane keep in mind too in another vlog re <laughs> the bugs are going crazy we also have i don't know if there's a hornet's nest or they're starting to form one but there was an abundance of hornets this morning they're gone now but earlier this afternoon so we're gonna have to take care of that too but I did mention before that I keep these little planter containers that I get every time I buy a perenna, a perenna, what the hell? Every time I buy a flower or an herb, I keep these little buckets too. So I'm going to use up these first for my seeds and then the rest of them will go into those little pink solo cups. And then I'm going to throw them into my greenhouse and hopefully within like a week, I can come back and show you guys some of the sprouts briefly in my greenhouse. So I believe we, we have my rosemary down here, which has not uh, caught just yet. My chives and lavender, there's my lavender, there's my chives. We have my marigold, which are just now sprouting. We're starting to see some greens. 
These are my radishes, which I think this is something completely different. I don't think that's a radish, but those my radishes are sprouting. These ones, these ones are um, just wildflowers, but these ones I believe were sunflowers. And I know these up here were also sunflowers and you can see some sprouting happening. Once I get these new ones into their cups too, they'll be also going in there for a little bit. Okay, this is as much as I am be gonna be able to get done today because I'm losing sunlight. Uh, I put this wire here. I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna get better stakes, smaller ones as well. Um, these are just temporary, temporarily holding it in a place. And also I wish I kind of got a bigger one so it's a little taller, but I might end up trying to use it anyway. But just a quick look at what we got. So I even have some apple seeds that I took from a core. Obviously apples are apple trees, so that is a very long processed one. But everything else, you can see everything from the thyme. We have cilantro, lots of watermelon, the lima beans, the green peppers are in a larger pot because I'm hoping to get like a, you know, a whole plant that I'm able to then put into the raised garden bed when it's ready. But we have tomorrow off too and it's supposed to be another beautiful day. This whole patch is watermelon too. I just ran out of labels. So I'm hoping to get more done tomorrow. So if you don't want to miss anything, please make sure, uh, one, if you could like the video, that would be much appreciated. It really does help me, uh, help my videos get pushed out to more of you guys uh, who might be interested in my content as well as subscribing so you don't miss any new videos posted. Thanks again for watching guys and I will see you in my next one.